One of the Middle East's bloodiest conflicts is also one of its most overlooked. It's not Syria or Iraq. It's in a different place entirely. Yemen. I am a playwright, but I'm also a political playwright, so I always, um, I call myself that, but what I mean is the subject matter is always social justice. We're doing this like really, really beautiful but intense story which is happening every day and none of us actually pay any attention to it as much as we have to um, in Yemen. I am Bahor Behari. I came to United States September 2016. For me, as an Iranian actor here, I love to grab any opportunity I can to just shine a light on Middle East. And we are good people, and bad people exist all over the world. And right now there is a crisis happening in Yemen, and the media is not covering it. The war in Yemen is, is very personal for me. I've lost friends and family to the war. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a war that hasn't been covered properly in the media, and uh, the struggle itself hasn't really been uh, expressed to the people properly. People don't understand what's going on there, don't understand the, the sides involved. To everyone, it seems just like another Middle Eastern conflict where the sides are not clear, but it's, it's pretty crystal clear to the people on the ground that you know, there's, you know, it's a proxy war. To, you know, fought by higher, you know, superpowers who generally are not really concerned with the uh, with the tragedies occurring on the ground, and more concerned with whatever political ends they're trying to achieve. Uh, I feel like uh, tonight was an opportunity to express the human aspect of what's going on, to focus on the human struggle versus the political, you know, struggle that's occurring in Yemen, and uh, and I'm glad I had the opportunity to do so. <laughs> and it saddens me however uplifts me that we're all being here in solidarity tonight from whatever religion that you come from. Because I'm Jewish Iraqi and there's uh, Muslim Iraqi and Christian Iraqi, but we're all Iraqis and we're all Americans and we're all one people. I think it's just, it's, it's relevant to my own sense of my own humanity, like do I do I turn a blind eye or do I do something? And also, it's so overwhelming, so what can we possibly do? And I feel like some of the organizers here, in some ways, gave us the gift of giving us something tangible that we could try and do. It's a drop in the bucket, it's not very much, but, um, but it's something. And I think helplessness is a really debilitating feeling, and it can make people check out. And so if you can help people feel that they can be helpful, I think you give them a gift, and that is a gift that translates down the road to more. My name's Athena Viscusi. I work for Doctors Without Borders, and I'm just overwhelmed by the the high quality of the art, the amount of effort, all these people coming together around Yemen, and I just wish our staff on the ground in Yemen could know about this, could know that there's, the, you know, all these great artists in New York City that know about them, that care about what's going on there, that that care about the plight of our patients and care about us too and, and want them to be able to want to raise funds for them to be able to continue their work. That is so powerful. Yemen has been a particularly difficult context to work in. Uh, several of our hospitals have been bombed. Several of our staff have been killed while working. Um, we both have our own facilities and then we support local facilities because we can't even always get staff in and out. I, I'm Ariel Stachel and um, I, I'm just tremendously honored to have been a part of New York Rep's Imagine Yemen event. Um, you, I, it's just a part of my identity that I've, that I've hid for so long and I think it's just so important that people in the New York theater community and, and this community at large sort of showcasing and spotlighting the issues that exist and, and I hope that we continue to f sort of fight the good fight and, and make sure that people can live in peace and harmony. Example of an evening night tonight where you know like people who didn't know about the crisis in Yemen all of a sudden you not only know about it but you have a profound empathetic response to it you know. When you're seeing plays like that, when you're actually seeing real people, you know, under imaginary circumstances for sure, but seeing real people, you know, sort of play out 
these scenarios for you, you know. It goes it goes deeper than reading on a page, or it goes deeper than glanc glancing on the television, you know. It goes you see it play out for you right there and you're like, okay, I can't now I'm like if I don't do anything now, what does that say about me as a human being? It's interesting. You know, in New York, you're gonna have an audience of in the theater of very like minded individuals. Uh, it's fortunate and unfortunate. It'll prompt the people who are like-minded to work together and do something, but the people who maybe need to hear the message the most uh, and need to listen and hear about, uh, you know, the plight of Yemen are people that aren't in New York. And so, I mean, the next phase is really how do you how do you bring this this the, the arts to those people? I'll tell you what, the fact that New York Rep is producing this uh, is is a tremendous 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 uh, step that I think all theaters need to move in. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not every day that people take the time, you know, especially a theater company takes the time to really bring light to something, an issue that needs that you know that that is alarming. Uh, and as a human race, we need to like hold hands and be like, okay, what's going on? You know, we're we're we're, we're moving far away from our humanity to somewhere else. And and, and the fact that New York is stepping up to produce this is like, you know, I think I say other theater theater companies take note.